plus q to the r. I know somebody got this, but okay. Main connect is an arrow, so the first thing I want to do is get rid of that arrow. Can give it over to the left. P or q and r and p or q plus r. Therefore, q or r. Now, the next move I'm going to do, and this will be different from many of what you've done, I'm going to split this out so I've got options. So I'm going to go Q, R. Mm -hmm. okay, sorry. That way if I need to split anything, I've got, I can split those up. And if I change my mind later, I can get rid of them. It's just like an interim move. So this is, I'm noticing as I'm writing this that there's a conjunction here. I'm going to break that conjunction down so now I have two separate premises that I can work with. And so what I do there, this would be conjunction on the left. Okay, so now I've got, that's already broken down. I've got an arrow on the left which is going to split. I've got a disjunction on the left that's going to split. That disjunction on the left is going to give me Q and R on one side, which I can map to either the Q or the R, because Q and R will prove Q, Q and R will prove R. And I've got this like annoying P somewhere, which isn't really proving much over there. So I'm going to leave that whole side because I don't know what to do with the P. The other side here, I can split this out, and so I'm going to try to do that and see if that works okay. Okay. So this R is going to become a premise or something. I'm guessing for this R, so I'll throw that, throw that in R in there. This P or Q is going to become a conclusion. And this P or Q and R, I'll put a premise on this side. And what haven't I used yet? This here, I will put it here as well. I've just broken down the arrow on the left. I'm just guessing that looks good and everything else I'm just sticking over here. I had hoped to get all my R's over here and get rid of them. I still have this R, but that's okay because it's in a premise. So when I get down to just a Q and R, I can probably just chuck away the R. So that should be okay. Right. Now. <coughs> what am I going to be doing? I'm going to break this down too. P or Q and R. Therefore, P or uh, P comma Q comma Q. We've got extra Qs now, so maybe I should have chucked away that Q back here, or maybe I should chuck away that Q. One of the Qs looks like it might be extra, because I've only got one Q over here. I'm not going to need that many Qs. I don't know which Q I'm going to chuck away. Maybe I need them both. I'm going to leave it. I'm just noticing that probably one of these is going to be a wasted Q. Okay. So now I'm going to finally be ready to split this. This is P, it's going to entail some things, and over here, Q or R is going to entail some things. I'm going to stick my P for my option, my premise over here, and my Q's over here. Mm -hmm. oh, an, sorry, it's an and. This is an and, that's an and. I told you I'm not focusing that well. Actually, I can read it over here. That's my vocal range. Okay, this bit's done. Now, if this was just one Q, I'd be sweet. I could just go Q, therefore Q. And that would be conjunction on the left. We do here disjunction on the left. So now I can either get rid of the Q when I split this, by making this one this, or I could have got rid of the Q down here. But when I got rid of this, just made this two. I can only do one of those. I don't want to get rid of both my Qs, but either one of those would have got rid of one of my Qs. I don't mind which one. I'm going to get rid of it here because there's less crossing out. And that is my proof. So when I don't know about chucking things away,